Hey everybody, Mr. Jayco here with um, a little tutorial on TweetDeck for SB Chat. So when I first started out participating in chats, what I would do is I would go up to the search box here and type in whatever chat I was looking for. Here I'm going to do SB Chat. Um, and then what I would do is I would click on live and I would try and participate in these chats. But what I found is it seemed like people were responding to a question that I hadn't even seen yet. Um, and so I realized that doing it this way, watching these live, it was very delayed. So we've been using something different and it makes the chats a lot easier and, and very helpful. And I'm going to show you what that is uh, in a second. It's called TweetDeck. And if you're on a Mac, I would definitely recommend uh, not using Safari, but using Google Chrome. And here at the top, I have my TweetDeck box. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, uh, your screen would look a little bit different because for the first time you would type in tweetdeck.com okay just like that uh, but for me it's it, it, it's a little different and when you go to tweetdeck.com it will prompt you with you to type in your Twitter handle which is your name and then your password and then you're all set up uh, to add columns. Now, looking at my tweet deck right now, I have two columns set up. I have my SB chat column, which will be here. And then I have a notifications column here. And I'll explain that in a second why I keep my notifications. But as you're getting set up, the first thing you would do is you would go to add column, go to the search box here, this will prompt you over here and again you would just type in SB chat at the bottom this will come up and it will show you the recent tweets you're gonna click add column okay and now it's made a third column for me just for the sake of presenting I'm gonna remove this column and you can also do that if you have other chats that you participate in um, and now I'm going to get back to uh, why I have the notifications. Okay, so I've already gone through and, and typed in. But let's do another one. SB Chat. Okay. See how fast it pops up here? This is really why we use TweetDeck, is that it's so fast and we're able to keep up to date with the questions and your answers. Um, sometimes when we're participating in a chat, somebody will reply to your tweet and they'll forget this hashtag so it will end up just going to your notifications box and that's why um, like if you look at David's tweet here he just replied to me and for the sake of argument if this was during a, ch uh, a Twitter chat that he had meant to put in here I would just quote his tweet because he meant, but he just forgot the SB chat hashtag. And I would just go ahead and type that in for him. So now it goes into the chat and everyone can see, and not just to me. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Another thing that's kind of cool that TweetDeck does is um, in this tweet box, you can add your images and I'm a visual learner so that would be that's a great feature for me to also type in what I'm explaining and add an image with it schedule tweet if you know at 8 o'clock the SB chat starting and you know you're just gonna give a greeting you would just say hey mr. Jayco here How is everyone? You could schedule that tweet and pick the time. 
So you obviously you would type in 8 p.m. and today's date or any other date for that matter. But I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Okay. Obviously, direct message if you want to direct, you know, send someone a message on the side of a, a chat or uh, whatever, that's fine too. And if you have two accounts, so let's say, for instance, I have my Mr. Jaco account, but I also have another account there. Um, I'm able to kind of switch back and forth between the two count the accounts if I want. So, um, lastly, I'll say is just this is a really great website for people that uh, struggle with their typing, like I do, and they want to be up to date. So, for instance, if you kind of are that old typer, one letter at a time, uh, this is a great feature for you because you're able to kind of do you're able to send out tweets faster and see them uh, as they happen. So I hope that hopefully this helps you and you know if you have any questions feel free email any one of us and we'd be more than happy to help you uh, get started on TweetDeck. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on Tuesdays at 8.